from the hosts that brought you to Coding Westworld. And Westworld the Recapables. Comes the Ringer Prestige TV podcast uh, on Westworld. I'm Joanna Robinson. I'm Danny Heifetz. And I'm David Shoemaker. Welcome to Westworld Season 4 in the Prestige TV podcast feed, where we're going to break down every episode of Westworld Season 4. Every Monday, the day after the show comes out on the Prestige TV podcast feed. Wherever you get your podcasts, but get them on Spotify. This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. All right, it's official. I think I've discovered the ultimate coupling of all time. Like any good relationship, they really balance each other out. One is super sweet, and the other, well, they can be a little nutty sometimes. It is, of course, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. So perfect, some would call it true love. Find Reese's now at a store near you. This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. Welcome to Bachelor Party. It's kind of the final countdown. I'm here with Callie Curry. Hi, Callie. Hello. Basketball season's over and Bachelor season's Ooh. beginning. I can't, I, I'm like, are you ready? And on July 11th, I think it's nonstop till the end of the year. I feel like basketball season has given me zero downtime in between <laughs> the two uh, Bachelor, Bachelor and Bachelorettes. I um, I need some some things to do at night. I, I'm like already missing basketball. I'm like, oh, there's nothing to watch. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's there's, true. There's a lot of television, but I don't know. I, I, I do feel I have an opening in my schedule, but I just can't believe it. It was like we had a four month layoff and now it's basically it's a wrap and we're almost in July. I also can't believe it's the summer. But that's a side note. You can't believe it's the summer? No, I feel like time's just evaporated. I mean, I mean, I'm happy about it, obviously. I'm in Dallas where it's 117 outside. So it's not actually it's probably like 95, but it's so hot that I'm like, it has to be summer. <laughs> Well, another sign that it's summer is Bachelor in Paradise is filming right now. We're going to talk about some Bachelor in Paradise spoilers. Non-spoiler spoilers. It won't ruin anything for you people. What are you more excited about? Paradise or Bachelorette? Bachelorettes. Yes. Bachelorettes. Um, <laughs> I think I'm more excited about Bachelorette, honestly. I'm really curious to see how this is going to go down. I'm really... Gabby posted a really funny uh, thing yesterday. I don't know if you caught this. Are you following her on Instagram? No. Oh no, Callie. What are you doing? <laughs> what have you? What's going I, on with you? <laughs> I feel like I, I I feel bad about unfollowing people. Mm. Okay. So I generally don't like to follow. I'm a very people. very active muter. Like I mute so fast. I don't even know how to mute. How do you mute? Oh, oh my by God. the way. I am you, following Gabby. Oh, so you just missed it. Well, yeah. this is how you mute. You go to their page and then it's like where it says following. You click on that, I think, and you click the little arrow and you can mute them. Oh, Muting I see. Muting is really essential. I love it. Wait, were you laughing at her chicken fingers? Yes, the chicken fingers. <laughs> so they posted the cast photo, Gabby and Rachel with all the men. And Gabby did like a zoom in of her fingers where she's like implies that her fingers look too long and they look like chicken fingers. And I, I was like, yes, we've got a whole like three months of this kind of content to look forward to. And I'm here for it. Yeah, I am very, very excited to like just listen to Gabby speak. Me too. I've like <laughs> missed her. She's so great. <laughs> I, so I am excited photo, about that. By the way, what? In this photo, by the way. Yes. She looks stunning. I think it's uncomfortable how much better she looks than Rachel. I know we're I, not supposed to pit, pit women against each other, but she looks like much, much more, I don't know, Bachelorette-esque. I think it's partially Rachel has a worse dress. Yeah, but, this dress is horrible for yeah, Rachel. It's not good at all. And I also kind of think they should have been matching. Like, they don't look coordinated at all. Like, at all. Well, actually, 
Gabby looks coordinated to the men because so many men wear navy. Mm-hmm. You, like just naturally, it's probably not on purpose. But so she didn't realize someone didn't have a shirt on. So that's why I paused mid thought. But <laughs> um, so she looks like it makes sense. I don't like Rachel's dress. I think Rachel's hair looks like Rachel has really good hair. Um, also her shoes. What is happening? It's not good. It's really, it's really not it's, good. And it makes me worried. Also, we're going to have to try really hard to not compare them too much, but it's going to be hard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's essentially what the show is, right? All I know, these guys like a, are comparing them. It's like choose. asking us to do that, basically. Um, which... Well, let's, well, let's say this. Before we watch the season, we like both women. Absolutely. Both women are very pretty. They came across really well in the last season. For the most part, I can't remember either of, either of us disliking either of them. No. Like we both we liked both of them last season. My only um, problem with Rachel is her whispering. Oh yeah, the whispering. <laughs> I didn't so, have it's not like I hated it. I think it's like cringe. Yeah, exactly. It just makes me uncomfortable. Like even thinking about it right now, I'm like, ugh, I'm recoiling. <laughs> but she also made fun of herself about the whispering on TikTok. So she's aware. Yeah, she I she does seem like, you know, she's funny and she's got personality. I, and a we good like career. Good career. Yeah. Gabby is just something we haven't seen on The Bachelorette. So I think that's what makes me drawn to her. Is yeah. like her goofy, the funny. The goofiness. Yes. She's, she's got a goofiness that like Hannah Brown also kind of had, but she's more self-aware and like honestly just seems like a... A more fun person. So great time. Is yeah. the height discrepancy this bad? I think Gabby's really tall. And I oh. don't think Rachel's that tall. But Gabby, I think, also is wearing heels. It looks like Rachel's heels aren't that high. They don't meet the Cali Curry four inch minimum. Mm, yeah, this looks like a solid kitten heel. As for the the man who's not wearing a shirt, he looks photoshopped into this. Like that does not look real. <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, no, it doesn't look real. Do we think it's real? <laughs> I don't know. It's like having like a Fabio cut out or something. It's it's weird. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's happening there. Is he actually a cast member? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out who that is based on their photos, but it's a little hard to tell. Like I, I'm not sure. These guys never look the same as they do in, the, in their bios, like ever. So um, who, who knows? <laughs> we shall see. Yeah, we I'm seriously ex- will. Um, I have two favorites. I discussed this with Jody a few weeks ago. It's my two favorites are named Nate and Eric. It's mostly based on the fact that they're hotter than everyone else, but I just feel good about them. Another thing Jody and I talked about that this photo really brings into focus. Is this enough men? Like there's only yeah. like 30 some odd guys for these two women. Like I think we needed like a minimum of 45. I'm not sure if you could see me. Like you couldn't see what I was doing, but I probably looked like I was like looking at my phone. I, well, I was looking at my phone. I was counting the men in this line because I was like, this looks like a normal cast photo. It doesn't it look is. any bigger with two women. Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah, I know. It's like it, I, they should have gotten more. And it looks like it honestly looks like less men than some previous seasons. I mean, that's why they had a Photoshop and shirtless man. I mean, you would think there would be much more, like double the men, yeah. right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't get it. Well, um, we'll we'll find out. But something else that came out recently that Nick Vial teased is that um, apparently they do part of the show on a cruise ship. Oh, I did see that. Uh, That's not for me. No, thanks. I'm kind of into it. Here are some good things that have happened in pop culture on cruise ships. One, the film Titanic. Great. A plus. Great. Yeah. It's, especially like until the uh, plane starts, the plane, the boat starts sinking. <laughs> like I really like it until it runs into the iceberg. Then I'm I love all of it. it. Even yeah. the iceberg. Love it all. It's awesome. Okay. Well, yeah. And mo- for me and my attention span, it's crazy that I like it. <laughs> What's happening on ESPN? You keep getting alerts. I don't know. I feel like the draft is tomorrow and I'm just going to get alerts. I just threw my iPad across the room. I'm in Brooklyn, very close to Barclays Center. And I was saw people wearing NBA media. Um, Badges and I was like, oh right, I forgot that's tomorrow. tomorrow. Anyway, um, I think the boat is a is a plus. Also, Wait, I used you to what only listed one thing. In I was, I had some more. Sorry, your ESPN <laughs> alert threw me off. It's not my fault. <laughs> Did you ever watch the TV show Breaker High? Ryan Gosling no, was on it. Never heard it. Okay, well, when I was a young teen, I watched it. Or maybe like a preteen. That was good. That was about a high school on a boat. 
Um, I don't know. I think I I would personally never go on a cruise, but I think for all the reasons I wouldn't go on a cruise, it makes for good television. Trapping people in the middle of the ocean so they go crazy, they can't get away from each other, to confined space. Okay. I think that's, that's good. It's a no for me personally. Yeah. I do agree with you. There's nowhere to go. Close quarters. Lots of alcohol. Yeah. I guess could be dangerous. Um, like there's only so many pools. Like they're going to be a, there's going to be a lot of interaction. Yes, absolutely. Also, best part. Yes. Very easy for the guys to sneak to their rooms. Oh yeah. Good point. There's not, there's like not a lot of ground to cover. Easy to find them. I hadn't even thought about that part. But yeah, I think that's another plus. But if you're Rachel and Gabby, are you like, okay, a little low budget, but all right. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, could it get lower budget than their crappy hotel in Iceland? Probably not. That was like really... Yeah, that wasn't great. Low end. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel bad for <laughs> also, them. Also, their experience there wasn't great. So they probably just like hated it all around. They're probably just w- whatever. But you know what? So far, it seems like they're still like each other based on the press they're doing. So I'm, I'm relieved about that. I don't want them to have a falling out. That would be hard for, for us. two women to do this together, I feel like, shockingly, ABC picked two women that I can't imagine turn on each other. I hope not. I just, I mean, I don't see either of them doing that. They both seem That's very... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, into each other as like, and like into like friendship as well. And like more normal. Like, I, yeah. as normal as you can be. Like, I just... They could have picked like... What was that girl's name? Shanae. And yeah. oh. you know what? I, like that would probably get great ratings. I'm shocked they didn't do that. I, Shanae is being saved for Paradise, obviously. We'll, we'll talk about her in Paradise in a second. Oh, I don't, I don't have any spoilers on her. But um, we were going through the guys right before we started this because you heard that Termaine, the crypto guy, is supposed to be a great dude. And I, did. I have trouble believing that because his... His occupation is crypto guy. Crypto guy. Yeah. <laughs> if if you like look at some of these titles, right? Mm-hmm. Like they're supposed to be occupations. Meatball enthusiast. Twin. <laughs> so leisure executive. Is that a thing? <laughs> no, there's not. It's like he, maybe maybe he's a leisure executive because he like works on a cruise ship and then maybe he'll go far as a result. But yeah, I, I don't know what that could potentially be. <laughs> Magician. Magician's a hard no for me. Would you rather go on a date with a magician or a comedian? Comedian. It's a tough, it's a tough call. I would choose comedian. I couldn't sit there and have him fucking pop a bunny out of my like, <laughs> like no nostril in the middle of dinner. Like I'm fine. You're like no thanks on the tricks. I agree. Comedian also not great, but I just feel like there's less less likelihood for a bunny to be involved. So good point. <laughs> so I'm looking at all these crypto guy though is top five bad title it's terrible first of all it's like you, it, it basically says to me don't have a job like just doing crypto investments and i'm like eh, i think as a side project i support it but if you're just a crypto guy that's not great yeah and then in his bio it says he's an entrepreneur so like he i'm not sure he clearly they they they're trying to typecast him as like some sort of Crypto dude. Crypto person. I don't yeah, even... I mean, it says the second a woman says NFT, it's game over. I have to imagine he did not write that. <laughs> I really hope not. He loves double dates, Termaine. That's kind of interesting. No one's really ever said that before one of their bios that I can recall. I feel like also, it's a random thing to point out. I don't mind two, them. That there's but there's two I girls. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I, uh, so what have you heard about him? Um, I heard from my friend who knows him, went to college with him, just said he's on. He was like, hey, just want to let you know my friend is on the show. He's a really good dude. And I was like, can you find out if he wins or not? And he was like, <laughs> no, I'm, I, if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a good friend. Really following the rules. I was like, OK, <laughs> whatever you say, then. <laughs> um that well, I'm looking forward to Termaine now. I kind of think that maybe because he's had the double date thing, maybe he will go further than I was expecting. Actually, who knows? <sighs> we'll find out. Do you though. think they're going to go on double dates? Um, yeah, I do. I don't know. This is. I, I'm just like the reason I'm excited about the show is I'm so curious about the format. Like I don't understand. Don't what you think it's do. weird? We don't know. 
Yeah, I do think it's weird. Like there's like so through the grapevine. There's so little info. I haven't tried that hard to find out, to be honest. I kind of wanted to like discover in real time with everybody else. But I am surprised that they're not teasing it more and just sort of like letting people wait until it's actually on. I feel like promotion is at an all time low for this season. Yeah. There's not been a lot, but it's also awkward timing. So, yes, yeah, summer. Yeah. Like, the, what's like the main thing that, like, what would be the main place to advertise for it? I don't, I don't really know. Like, maybe on Hulu, people who are watching Kardashians or something. Yeah. Maybe I have watched a few episodes of Kardashians and I haven't seen anything. Um, but you probably don't pay for ads on Hulu. That is correct. Yeah. So, but I don't, I, yeah, I agree with you. I don't see a lot of press happening. There was no commercials during the NBA finals, not the same audience, but like, that's probably some of the biggest audience that the ABC is going to get for the next few months and they didn't do anything with it. So I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see, I guess. Um, some other news that is making the rounds though, Michelle and Nate <sighs> broke up. I know. It's pretty sad. So it was suspected for a while, for several weeks, and then they like denied it and like posted some dance video together. And then <laughs> last Friday night, they confirmed it. Um, I'm just sad. Her, her Instagram post was like really sad. She was, like made it sound, made it sound like she was really hurting. I feel, I feel like for them. his Instagram post sound I, they both clearly are upset by it yeah um i did share with you that tiktok of that weird interview that they did like two weeks before. two weeks ago at wango tango yeah a- where that was weird right she wasn't wearing her ring and the interviewer asked her about it and she like did a kind of like extended bit about how she's reading online that she and nate aren't together and she's like yeah but i just talked to him five minutes ago so i thought we were together but meanwhile, he says nothing and looks really really uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, he looks like, uh, yeah, Michelle. What are you gonna say? Uh, yeah, he was just like I. He he seemed like he, he looked a little no annoyed, pretending. Yeah, he at seemed all. annoyed with it all, and so I don't know. I Michelle doesn't seem like the type that would like fake it for something. I'm wondering if they were like trying to like work through some issues. I also and... wonder if this is a really this is a really bad theory. Like it's, it doesn't <laughs> give them the benefit of the doubt. Like I think it's a good theory, but they broke up. They announced their their breakup on I believe June seventeenth, which is exactly six months after their finale, if I recall correctly. And I wonder if there was like some kind of financial incentive for making it six months. Maybe they did seem happy though for a while. I know. I thought he was going to move for her. I, I Or like they were going to make it work. But well, I'm glad he didn't. If this was going to be the outcome. Yeah. But like keep, she, keep I think she she quit teaching. She's starting a new life. Like she's, Wait, she quit teaching. Yeah, she just quit. And she's pursuing oh, this her, is life her as last a, year, right? Yeah. She's pursuing life as an influencer now, Ugh. which I don't feel great about. Michelle, I'm sorry. I just don't. I, I would prefer her keep her day job. Stick to your roots. I mean, how many followers does Michelle have? Not that many, if I recall correctly. I mean, I don't know what she has on TikTok, but on Instagram, she's really not that popular. I mean, it's harder and harder for these people to get really huge followings, but she has 774,000. That's actually not bad. That's good. But I just think she could do better. Than being an influencer? Yes. She had a real job and career. Yeah, this is my thing. There's some, I know influencers and there's people that have done this like for their life. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You've been doing this for like eight years. Anyway, yeah, yeah, this is your thing. Do I like when like doctors and teachers quit to be influencers? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like it. Also, she was probably a phenomenal teacher. I know. She seems really, really sweet and warm. and And unfortunately... The workforce for teachers right now is depleting. Yeah. Understandably. And, understandably. So. Oh, 100%. They're underpaid. I mean, there's so many things. They're, they're underpaid people. I, I don't want to get into politics. Anyways, they, we lost a good one. And on top of that, she's a black teacher, which is even lower. And we need more of, we need more black teachers in general. It's just a double loss. And now she's an influencer. I know. It's just not the outcome we were hoping for in any way. 
I hope she finds happiness, though. I wonder if she'll show up on Paradise or on The Bachelorette. I was thinking that after Becca was successful on Paradise. Becca said Thomas is the only one of her fiancés she actually wants to marry. I hope. I mean, like, I'm happy for you and Thomas, but it's like, then why did you get engaged, Becca? You didn't have to. I don't like that statement. I would, like, so you didn't, you were, just got engaged and you didn't want to be? I completely forgot about about Ari. I was like, who are her two fiancés? And it was like Garrett and, and then I remembered it was, it was Ari. Ari. I saw so this boring. graph, and I'm not trying to take credit for this or not give the credit to where it's due, but there's like this Instagram page that posts like statistics on Bachelor, Bachelorette. You know yeah, Bachelor about? data. That's what it's called. That's I think. exactly what it is. Yes. Did you see the like lengths of relationships? No. Of bachelor. They posted like between Bachelor and Bachelorette, like what's the length of time before breakups? Mm hmm. And Becca and Garrett were one of the longer ended ones because they were together for two years. They worked together a long time. I mean, um, they, I think that it seems, it, I think that also like honestly, the Black Lives Matter movement like really contributed to their breakup because some of like the political differences between them that like she could ignore, she couldn't anymore. Yeah, that's tough. That's kind of on her, though. I just want to say. I mean, well, I, I mean, you had to have known that going into it. She did know. Yeah, she did know. Yeah. And then I'm glad that. You know, it seems like she has followed her heart and whatnot. But, you know, I, I do think that, like, there was a, out external pressure as well, which is, I don't know. Um, Another breakup, Katie and John. I, remember well, remember she did 12 days of, of Katie launch. or something? 12 days of something to reveal that they were 12 dating. 12 days of the, of the soft launch of John <laughs> during Michelle's season. <laughs> I'm really glad you brought up soft launch. One of my favorite things that the internet has brought to me is people referring to like relationship announcements as like soft launch and hard launch. It's it's actually really funny. Like I, whoever started that, I love it. <laughs> I also don't mind it, but sometimes people say soft launch and it's the hardest of launches. <laughs> Anyone come to mind? <laughs> um, Becca Tilly. Oh, yeah. Yes. We also... Really, all I think a lot of people knew about that, but I'm really happy. Yeah, so maybe that's yeah, maybe it's a little different. I'm also I was trying to find the graph on Bachelor data, and I actually can't find it. It seems it probably was in oh the found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Um, it seems like for the most part, Bachelorette relationships last longer than Bachelor. I think that's because the women know what they want and who they want and they just go after it. And also like they put probably put in more work. This episode is brought to you by Visible. Maybe you've already let your New Year's resolution slip. We all have, but you can still make a two year's resolution with Visible. Right now, you can get a one line wireless plan from Visible for just $20 per month for 24 months. 24 months is basically four bachelor seasons. That could be four engagements, four broken engagements. So many other couples we didn't see them coming. It's really an eternity in Bachelor Nation. And that's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon with no annual contracts. Switch now at Visible.com and use the code Visible24. Don't miss out. Offer ends January 31st. New members only. Promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. This episode is brought to you by State Farm. You might say all kinds of stuff when things go wrong, but these are the words you really need to remember. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They've got options to fit your unique insurance needs, meaning you can talk to your agent to choose the coverage you need, have coverage options to protect the things you value most, file a claim right on the State Farm mobile app, and even reach a real person when you need to talk to someone. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Yeah, maybe. It's also some of the couples that are still together are kind of shocking. Um, Yeah, and the, like the fact that Trista and Ryan are still together, although people think they met beforehand. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 
Who's the biggest well, shock to you? Uh, Ari and Lauren. The heart wants what the heart wants. I know, but after everything that happened, I was like, oh, this is going to last like a month. <laughs> nope. And now, I think they're like for real. Like, I don't yeah. think they're, yeah. I Several think children. They're like, yeah. They're, they're in it to win it. If I was interested in Formula One at the time, I might have liked Ari more, but I wasn't. What um, are you th- also, Clayton and Susie are still together. That's kind of surprising. I don't know. I think that will last for a while. I don't think for forever, but I think that will last for a while. I hope it does. There, yeah. I, I just like once you find each other, go with it. You know, stay out of the dating pool together. Matt um, and Rachel still together. What? Matt and Rachel. I know. They seem like they're doing great. Great. Um, can we talk about Katie and John and their breakup? I mean, do we? Sure. It's just the opposite of Michelle and Nate who both posted these like long heartfelt <laughs> notes. Katie posted one line that was like, we're not together. together. And then John did like some long thing. I don't know. She, she's wild. She's so different than what we originally thought. From, so from, different. From that season to now, I've done a complete 180 like 10 times. <laughs> so where are you? Back at the start? <laughs> well, maybe a 90 degree turn. I don't even know. I feel our 20 degree turn. We're just going, going around, around, and around, 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 around. Like, I'm like, oh, she's this. Oh, she's this person. Oh, okay. No, she's this. Oh, what? Like, I have no fucking clue. Me neither. I really don't know. I think, I think the fact that she wants to be a comedian actually says a lot. Like, that is she though? I don't know that she's pursuing it, but I think that's something she wanted to do. I know she did a comedy set at some point. Yeah. So uh. I don't know. But, I wish them the b- the best of luck. I feel like he's actually more likely to end up on Paradise in the future than she is. Really? I just, I don't know. I just don't see her having well, a long relationship with the franchise. You know what's crazy is like last year we would have been like, oh, they can't go on it. They're from their bachelorettes. Yeah. Now we're and like, now oh yeah, Michelle's going to be on it. Katie's going to be on it. Who else? I mean... Who knows? This reminds me. Okay, so here's the one piece of... Um, this is going to be like slightly spoilery for the rest of the episode. So if you don't want to listen, hit stop. It's not about The Bachelorette. It's about Paradise and it's about the format. I read online in some spoiler Reddit post that the format this year is introducing a Casa Amor kind of thing <gasps> where... Oh my... <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Where when new people come onto the beach, the men and the women who are already there are separate separated so that the men so that they meet the new people without having the old people watch. And then I guess they decide. So can you so can you explain Casa oh. Amor and how this works on Love Island? And I also just want the the listeners to know wow. I don't think I've ever seen you this excited. <laughs> well, this changes the game. What does first, it mean, Callie? Explain it. First of all, Casa Moore is from Love Island, which is the best reality television, best dating reality television show that there is. Um, and it's currently on Hulu. Season 8, episode 1, dropped at 2 a.m. on mon- Monday? Tuesday? Tuesday. So, so you much. can start watching. Uh, Juliet is going to start tonight. I am. <laughs> um, and episode two comes on tonight. So you can you can watch one and two tonight. Um, so in Love Island, what happens is there's five girls, five guys. They're in a villa. And then they'll randomly like drop people in. A guy here, a girl here, a guy here. And they have to couple up every episode. So you have your like couple. So cup, some couples will be coupling up over and over and over and over again. And they'll leave the house together. Okay. 60%-ish through the season... They take the guys, they'll they'll write the guys and be like, hey, at 5 a.m. we're going on a boat trip for a guy's day. Okay. All the guys at this point, everyone knows what Love Island is. I think it's one of the most popular shows in the world. So like they know what that means. The guys sneak out of the house and there's another whole house for them. And when they get there, like probably five to seven other girls that they've mm. never met before are there for them. And they have to last in that house for a week. What does it mean and, last? Like choose. Well, the, so the house that they left, that house has five to seven guys going into it. Okay. So there's all these people that are already in couples. I see. And have been coupled up for the whole season. And now you're in a house with seven new girls. And now that she's in a house with seven new guys. And then while they're in that, the house, the producers will send pictures 
mm. to the other people. So like, <laughs> let's say they're even in it. It's just like they're playing a game and they kiss someone. The producers will send a picture to his person that he's coupled up with of him kissing another girl. Oh my God. With no context at all. No context. That's so upsetting and unfair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm assuming there's a few ways that they could do this, but they could have they're on Bachelor in Paradise for like, let's say seven weeks, like seven episodes. Okay. And then all of a sudden they take all the guys and put them in a different place with new girls and new guys come into the new place. I think they have to do it sooner. I think that they need to like spice it up after like two or three weeks. Yeah, but you want people to be in committed relationships torn mm-hmm. apart. I know, but think about think about Paradise like, though. Because it's only once a week versus every day of Love Island. Yeah, yeah obviously. You, like each episode is like ca- covers more time basically. Okay, so maybe Doesn't week Love four. Doesn't Love Island have a, have a voting aspect of it too? Yes. Uh, the public votes on couples to stay and go sometimes. Got it. Got it. And then sometimes the public will vote on like who their favorite couple is. And then the host will tell you who are the least favorite couples. And then the all the people in the house have to vote off one of the couples that are in the bottom two. Oh, shit. This is so diabolical. I can't believe I don't watch. <laughs> um, the, obviously, The Bachelor can't do that, though, because they're filming right now. So we wouldn't be able to vote. But that's a great yes. piece of it, too. So I'm assuming if they do it this way, that would be in like... I can't even. It'd be so amazing. I know. I'm trying to think of couples that were coupled up really early on. Like, um, uh, what's her name? Noah and... Noah? Oh, Noah no- and Abigail. Uh, Abigail. <laughs> like, Noah and Abigail kind of hit it off right away. So imagine yeah. like week four, they're like basically boyfriend and girlfriend, even though they're not. Like, that's how they act yeah. on the show. Week four, all of a sudden, Noah is taken to another house with seven new girls and seven new guys come in for a- for Abigail. I mean, that would be great. I think also Serena and Joe, would they have survived that? Oh, I don't yeah. Know. Serena and Joe's another one. I like, feel like I feel like she I, I think he, I could see him sticking with her, but I feel like maybe she would have gone for someone else. Yeah. So then that happens where one guy or one girl will be like or one woman, sorry, will be like, <laughs> I I'm sticking it out. I'm going to be faithful. Da, 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 da. And then when they bring the people back together, the guy's like, oh, actually, like, I'm dating someone else now. Yeah. Matt, just like way more breakups and also way more impetus. Drama. To, yeah. I, I'm I'm for it. They needed to shake something up big time. I have to assume that's how they do it. I can't. The other only the only other way I could see that maybe they do it, but this isn't as fun, is that when a new person comes in, like, let's say it's a guy or a girl, he or she comes into a house full of the opposite sex. Right. Right. That would be cool but too. But only for like 20, I guess, I don't like how like long did they do that for? For like a couple hours? Yeah, like a day? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's all has to be compressed because the production time is so much shorter. How many weeks is Love Island? It's 50 episodes. Do you wish that you could vote even though you, like, you can't because you're in the U- well, U.S.? Well, you can. You can get a VPN and watch oh. <laughs> and then vote. I had the app at one point. But no, now 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 we're just gonna watch. It's like I think Hulu's probably like fourteen episodes behind. Yeah, it's two weeks UK. behind. Yeah. yeah. And so um, is it on seven days a week or five days a week? It's on like six days a week. Got it. That There's, is so wild. That is so much work for whoever works on it. The product I can't even imagine like editing. No, me neither. I feel like probably stay up all night. Yeah, and watching like interviews of people that have been on the show and gotten off the show. she they, They're they just like, it's crazy like how fast people know what's happening in the house. Wow. That's, yeah, that is wild. I need to watch it. You're, this is a really good sell. Also so that I'm ready for Bachelor in Paradise. I, you know, I gotta be in the know. If you know what Casa Amor is, you will be, first of all, I love Bachelor in Paradise. It's the best, fran- like best. Yeah, of course thing of Bachelor Nation. I think everyone likes it. Adding Casa Amor <laughs> takes this to another level. <laughs> like, I love Casa Amor, but imagine Casa Amor with people you know. Like, we know all the characters. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And, and uh, also, then you can think about, like, who are the best case scenario to bring in. Also, opens up the pool of people because you're like, oh, yeah, let's let's have this person come, but not first wave, like their second wave or something. It definitely makes it because because it's gotten to a point now where people like want a couple up right away and then they're serious the whole time. And like, 
truly don't give anyone else a chance because they mm-hmm. feel like they can't. Especially now with like the internet, I feel like sometimes a, a, a guy or a woman are in there and they're like, well, if I break his heart, people are going to hate me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. So people tend to try to make the right decision even if they don't actually want to. This is definitely going to fuck. If you take someone away for three or four days and they don't actually want to be with that person anyways and then someone else comes down. I know. And when you're like in isolation oh. like that, three to four days feels like three to four months. Imagine uh, Piper and, and Brendan. Brendan. So Brendan's with Natasha, mm-hmm. the first first four episodes. And then they go to Casa more and they bring Piper in. Yeah. But Brendan would that outcome and have Piper, been different? They still would have screwed been a over little, Natasha. It, yeah, they, it, they still would have screwed over Natasha, kind of. It would have made Piper look a lot better because like she'd been like, well, I don't know, I just came in here, da, 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 whatever. Yeah. Uh, it would have made Brendan look better because it wasn't so planned. But like they probably would have fucked on like night two in Casa more. <laughs> and meanwhile, yeah, Natasha would have just been sitting there waiting. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it would have definitely been better for them because it would have been the point of the show, essentially, would have been like, to see what happens when Casa Moore comes into play. So I definitely yeah, and then agree Brendan with that. But- could have been like, I had a connection with you, but then being in Casa Moore, I met, <laughs> I met Piper and I had a better connection with her. I mean, I can't wait to see it play out. And also, this is this has been the hard sell on Love Island that I really need to take the plunge. I mean, uh, I, mean I feel like if you watched like, if you're, if you're five episodes in, on season four or five, you would probably binge the entire franchise. Okay. All right. I'm going to give it a shot. Also, I feel like it'll help It'll help us get to the next level, you know? Enter our own oh, Casa Amor. For sure. <laughs> well. Best friends. I can't wait. Um, I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to report back for reals this time. I have so much to watch. Callie and I also talk about Bravo on the Ringer Reality TV podcast on Fridays. So you should check us out there. We got... Southern Charm starts this week, I think, and Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, Woo! and it's just a lot. I'm, s- it's great stuff. Can I just um, say another yeah. hard sell? Yeah, for all of the like concoctions that all of these platforms come up with for reality reality television, Peacock Bravo <laughs> has really figured it out with Ultimate Girls Trip. I can't wait to watch. I loved the first one, so I'm really excited. I cannot wait. I love the first one, and the, we're one episode in to the second one, and it's better. I love Dorinda. I love Jill Zarin. Uh, Phaedra? Love Phaedra. I was just about to say that. I mean, you know, it's great. Brandy, don't really care for her, but she brings the drama, so that's fine. I'm looking forward to it. It's that's how I feel about Vicky. Yeah. Brings Vicky's, the drum. Was she doing Not some, for me, some but brings the drum. Woo, woo woos. Woohoo's. Mm, she's not in a good place right now. Has she ever been? <laughs> <laughs> All right. For more of this, just listen to the Ringer Reality TV podcast on Fridays. It's morally corrupt. Rachel Lindsay hosts. We're both on it. So are our other colleagues too. Um, let's talk schedule. So we're doing Thursdays until this this Thursday, the following Thursday, and Thursday after that. And then we're back to Monday nights and Thursdays, people, starting July 11th. Can you believe it? I can't. Thank you to Erica Cervantes for producing this episode. Thank you to Callie for talking me into watching Love Island once and for all. And we'll be back next week. Adios. Adios. 